Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we will learn how to style text elements like headings and paragraphs. CSS provides us with properties to change font size, color, text alignment, and much more. Let's try all these properties with examples to understand them better. So, first let's try changing the color of this text. So let's bring up our code editor. Let's add another CSS file. So index.css, let's link this file here. So link, the relation is style sheet. The location is forward slash just index.css. And then the type is text and CSS. Let's save it. And let's try giving this heading a color. So say H1, so we've got this H1 tab here. So let's give it a color. So color say blue, let's save it. And as you can see, the color of the heading is changed to blue. Similarly, if you want to change the color of the paragraphs, so let's say color and brown. Let's save it. And as you can see, the color of the paragraphs is also changed. The next property is text alignment. So as you can see right now, the text is aligned on the left. So we've got another property text align to align this text to left, center and right. So let's try that. So text align say center. Let's save it. And as you can see, the heading is in the center of the screen. Similarly, if we change it to text align right, so the heading goes to the right hand side of the screen. Similarly, for the paragraphs, let's say text align center, all our text is center aligned. Similarly, if you do right, all the text is right aligned. And we've got another option, say justify. So now the, all this text will be stretched across the available space. And as you can see, all this text is stretched across the width of our screen. So if you change this to the left, let's save it. You see, the second line has a space at the end, the first line has a space at the end. But if you're keeping it justified, so it's stretched till the end of the screen or till the end of the line. The next one is a uh, font style. So we can define whether a font is normal or italics. So let's say, let's bring this back to center. Let's say that, and let's try this property on the heading. Say font style italics. Let's save it. And as you can see, the heading is now in italics font. The next property that we have is font weight. So this defines the thickness of the font. So let's say, all right, so let's try this property, say font weight. So we can write it normal. So currently the default value, which is normal. You can have it bold. Let's save it. And as you can see now our font is bold. Or instead of that, we can give the values, say 400. So 400, which is a bit of thinner font. So this font weight goes from 100, 200, 300, 400 up to 800, 900. All right, so let's save it. And as you can see, our font is a bit thinner, but if we make it 600, the font is a bit thicker. So it's more towards the bold side. Then we've got another property called text decoration. So the purpose of this property is to uh, underline the text or have a line over the text or through the text. So let's try that. So text decoration, say underline, let's say that. And as you can see, our heading is underlined. Similarly, it accepts another value, overline. And as you can see, we've got a line over the text or above the text. Then it also accepts another value, line through. So as you can see, our text gets striped through. So line goes through our text. It accepts another value called none. So in that case, no line is shown or there's no line with the text. That's all for text decoration, guys. 
So you can use this text equation to remove the underline from links. So when we explore links, we will talk about this again. All right, so we've got another property called text transform. So the purpose of this property is to make our text uppercase, lowercase, or capitalize, so which is title case. So let's try that. So text transform and let's say uppercase. And as you can see, our entire text is now uppercase. Similarly, lowercase. And now as you can see, the entire heading, all the alphabets are in lowercase. And then we've got capitalize. So this is like title casing. So the first alphabet of every word is capitalized or turned to uppercase. That's all for text transform. Then we've got another property, letter spacing. So the purpose of this property is to increase or decrease the space between alphabets. So let's try that. Say letter spacing, two pixels. And as you can see now, the paragraphs, so each alphabet has a little more space between each other. So if you increase it, say four pixels. So we've got more space between the letters. So if we reduce it to zero, so it goes back to the original uh, letter spacing. But if you make it negative, say minus one, the text gets closer. So let's say minus four. And now the text is overlapping with each other. So let's just increase it to say two pixels. Or let's just say one pixel. Uh, just similar to this, we have another property called word spacing. So as the name suggests, what it does is it increases the space between two words. So let's try that. So let's start with zero pixels. So this is the default value. Let's increase it, say two pixels. Let's increase it a bit more, say eight pixels. And now, as you can see, we've got more space between our words. Let's try using some negative values. So minus one, say minus four, say minus eight, say minus 12. So as you can see now, our words are getting overlapped with each other because of the negative letter spacing. So let's just bring it back to normal, which is zero pixels. That's all about word spacing. Then we've got another property line height. So what this does is it increases the space between two lines. So let's use that. Say one. So this is the default value. So the line height is one. So let's just make it 1.2. So it is now 1.2 times the default value. Similarly, let's make it 1.5. And as you can see, the space between a line is getting increased. Let's make it two. So now it's the double of the default value. And that's all for line height, guys. So we've got another property called font family. So what it does is here you can define the kind of font that you want to use. So to get some online fonts, we can go to Google fonts. So let's open a new tab and search for Google fonts. Let's select it. Let's open this web page. And as you can see, it has got a list of lots of fonts. So let's say we want to use this open sans. So you have to just click on this plus button. So when you click here, this font is selected now. So just click on this bottom sheet now and it opens. So as you can see, uh, it is giving you a link here. So this is a link to the Google Fonts API. So to use it in CSS, we just add this line font family and the name of the font family. And we can customize it. So if you come here, it shows you. So you've got light, which is 300 font weight. Then you've got light italics. Then you've got regular, which is 400 font weight. And the most bold is 800 font weight. So let's say we want 700 bold. So if you come back to this embed, and now, as you can see here, we've got two different values. So open sans 400 and 700. Let's copy this. Let's come back here, go to our index.html file and to add links, we add it in the head element. Let's paste it here. So coming back here, let's copy this. So font family, open sans, sans serif. 
So coming back to our web page. And let's add the styling here. So let's say we want to add this font family to the paragraph. So let's just paste it here. Let's save it. And now as you can see, we have a different font. Similarly, if you want to use some other font, just go back here, remove it. Say you want Roboto, just click on this. It selects the font. Just copy this link, come back and paste it here. So instead of this open sans, say we don't want open sans, so we would just replace it here. Or for example, we want it both. So we could just add another link here. Let's save it, coming back to index CSS and update the font family value. So let's just paste it here. So coming back to our web page, and now let's save this. And as you can see, our font family changed again. That's all for today, guys. If there's something that you did not understand, feel free to drop a comment and we will discuss it. See you in the next video. Bye and take care.